Hey, how are you? Hope everything is going well your way. Everything is cold over here today. Happy Sunday, you guys. So today I wanted to share with you how I managed to do my yearly reset and how I put together my 12 week year. Now, first of all, a lot of people wonder what a reset is. And I'm going to read it here because, you know, I have my notes and I like to share notes, written notes. It's to reset really literally means to set again or to set differently. Okay. Resetting your year gives you a fresh place to start after a period of changes or a period of rest. So you'll be able to deal with your present and upcoming life situations. So that's what a reset is basically. Now, I think in our own way, we all reset to a certain extent, some way or another. Now for me personally, I think I've never done what's called a reset technically. I think I've always done recaps. And so recaps are totally different from resets. A recap means basically I'm reading here from my notes. You're putting into summary things you've done that has already happened, things you've already experienced. That's what a recap is. Now a reset is basically stopping and pausing and revamping what you plan to do in the future. That's a reset. How you plan to do things differently or what you plan to change. Recap is learning from what you've already done in the past or have changed in the past. Now, along with this recap and reset and 12 week year, which I'm sure a lot of you have heard that term already. It's, it's old, it's been around for a minute. The 12 week year covers um, makes you put your year, divide your year up into four quarters and each quarter have three months. And so those three months are basically broken down to be three weeks. So that's where the term 12 year week, 12 week year comes from. Okay. This year I wanted to do both. In December, I did my recap of the year 2023 and it went well. I, I enjoyed it. I understood it. I learned from it and it was okay. This year, I want to do both because I believe my entire life is a life of multitasking. And some people feel like, oh, you have to stay focused on one thing or nothing will succeed. And I just don't I don't believe that <laughs> because I've, I'm a learning lesson, a, a learning live lesson that multitasking is beneficial for me. So I think about truck drivers. I'll give you an example. Truck drivers, they have a allotted time to drive. And after that allotted time is up, they have to stop and they have to do a reset. They cannot drive again until after that reset period has ended. Or they can choose to do a recap, which means they can drive continuously without ever having to stop and reset. Now, I don't know how the recapping work versus the resetting and which way truck drivers like to do it best, but it made me think of my own personal experience in life. And because I work for myself, I'm self-employed and I have multiple streams of different income and I like it that way, I'm not tied to anybody else's clock. So that helps me to be able to sit down and really reallocate my time as often as I need to do it and to be balanced. As I did my online shop reset, if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave the link in the bottom where you can see me actually reset my online shop. As I did that, I learned a lot of lessons about reset because remember, I've never really technically done a reset before. So that taught me valuable lessons that I pretty much plan to use in my personal reset. My personal reset will include finances, spirituality, mental and emotional, physical. It includes all of that. My first part or quarter is from January to March. My ideal goal for these three months is to save, save, save. That's my ideal goal. 
because I have other goals that I've set up for the entire year of 2024 that I really want to accomplish. And so I feel like saving this first part of the year will help me to achieve those extended goals that I've set for myself. I want to share my lessons, my reset lessons with you. And I also want to go over my 12 week years plan with you. Think of how you can reset, recap, create your own 12 week year, and then put it all into motion. As I'm going through mine, grab a pen, grab a piece of paper and see how you can personally utilize these steps. You don't have to do it the way I'm doing it because as I mentioned earlier, I feel that everybody has some type of reset, recap in motion automatically. It's automatic. But how you choose to do yours may be different than me, but I just want to share with you my lessons that I've learned. I've already given you my first quarter goals which would be considered saving. Save, save, save. That's January, February, March. Save, save, save as much as I possibly can so that I can achieve my 2024 goals or be ahead of them as, as it were. So my first three reset lessons are, um, it's okay to have a plan, but it's okay for that plan to have adjustments along the way. We are so bent on, no, let me write it down because if I write it down, it'll be written and etched in stone. But sometimes plans don't always go that way. Things happen, things occur, emergencies, unexpected events, or you just may simply change your mind. And it is okay. It's okay. Just adjust your plan and deal with the results of what you've adjusted. The directions may change in your plan. And long as you're able to follow direction, I think you'll be okay. I was, I was okay. Number two, it's okay to recycle or trash ideas. Now, when we plan our budget or finances or our spiritual journeys or our physical journey, it's okay to have a lot of ideas, but you also have to be okay with trashing some along the way because not all ideas are favorable to our circumstances at any given time. So we have to be willing to recycle, which means put them on hold and recycle them or change them up a little bit, or be willing to just trash them all together. Do away with the idea. It's not going to work. I always say our lifestyles can become cluttered with ideas and options and decisions, but we have to make time, take time to declutter those options because they will fill our mind and we'll be running from left to right, not knowing what to do, when to do, how to do, why to do. Declutter, declutter. Number three, Rome was not built in a day. I'm sure you've heard that saying and what I mean and how I applied that lesson in my life is realize Getting used to this reset will take some time. It won't happen overnight. Once you put the idea in mind and into motion, it's mind changing. It's time to make some instant decisions sometimes. You can do it. My savings plans, my savings goals had to already make some adjustments and it's just January the 14th. So adjustments can be made in order to realize it's not going to take 24 hours to get this done. Sometimes it may take 48 hours. Sometimes it may take longer. Let's move to April through June. Now that's the second quarter that covers weeks four through six in your 12 week year. So during these weeks, my goals are to see one of the, at least one of the natural wonders of the world. And currently I have a list of 15 that I can choose from. So hopefully I'll have um, balanced myself enough to be able to visit at least one of them. I really, really want to do that. I also want to be able to fully fund one of my 2024 vision board goals. I also, during this quarter, want to lose four to eight pounds. And keep in mind that all goals are not financial. You have physical goals, you have spiritual goals, you have mental goals. All those can be part of your reset plan. I don't 
divulge my spiritual goals with anyone. Those are personal to me and I keep them to myself. But this quarter actually have a few spiritual goals involved in them as well. My reset lessons for this quarter are number four, enough is enough. Learn when enough is enough. When it comes to certain things, learn to say when. Give yourself a deadline. It's okay. Weight loss for me is a major accomplishment. It's something that I have determined a specific weight that I want to obtain for myself for health benefits and so forth. And I want to be able to do that. Um, I'm not losing weight to be beautiful, <laughs> to be cute. I need to lose weight for health benefits. And that's what my goal is to do. I've learned there are facets to fear of failure. You can get so wrapped up into not seeing progress as quickly as you want or not being able to stick to a certain way of life that you develop a fear of failure. And that fear of failure actually works against your plan. It works against your 12-week year plan. It works against your reset. And then during your recap, you understand that. But then when you're resetting, you don't plan for it. So it's okay to plan for that fear that's going to come upon you sometimes. And understand that it's only natural to be fearful sometimes. Even with spiritual goals, physical goals, mental goals, and emotional goals, fear can come into place. Number five, um, I've learned that backstock and overflows are okay. Now, what do I mean by that? Oh, I put this one <laughs> into my reset plan because I do have some vision board projects that I would love to achieve every last one of them this year. I plan to have funded all of them, but I may not be able to get to all of them this year. I want to, but I have some pre pretty uh, big size projects on my vision board. But my goal is to realize that if I don't get to all of them this year or when I hope to get to them, it's okay. Put them on the back burner, put them on the back stock. As long as it's not creating a safety hazard or some type of emergency needs to be resolved by accomplishing these vision board goals, it's okay to put them on the back burner. Number six, multitasking is okay. I am a queen of multitask. It's how I challenge myself. It's how I stay focused. It's how I stay balanced by multitasking. Some people don't like to see people multitask. They want you to focus on one thing and one thing only. And if you don't do that, it interrupts their whole lifestyle. It's okay. It's interrupting their lifestyle, not yours. As long as you're able to balance things properly so that nothing gets left behind or undone or becomes a safety hazard for you and your family, it's okay to multitask. I love some multitasking. And I think I have accomplished a facet of being balanced with my multitasking. Sometimes I'm only able to multitask three things at a time. Sometimes I'm able to add one, take one away. However you do it, just be balanced. And if you're not able to do it, if you know that you're not good at multitasking, don't do it. Just don't do it. It's okay because that's your lifestyle and it's okay. So moving on to quarter number three. Quarter number three is set for July to September. Now that covers your weeks seven through nine. During these weeks, I've set them aside for my first recaps of the year. So it includes July, August, September. In August, I generally always have an auditor come into my life and divulge herself into my business <laughs> and tell me, feed, give me some feedback on things I can improve on, things I'm doing good on, something I may need to change or try to rearrange. That's what she does every August and I appreciate her so, so much. But I decided since I'm doing this 12-week year plan to make July through August become my recap months. 
So during this time, I plan to give myself some feedback, look at the ways I've done things, look at what's going on at current, at the present during that time. I can't plan for it because it's in the future and I don't know what all will have taken place from July I mean, from now, January to July through September. I don't know. I can only recap once it arrives. My reset lessons for that time will be to learn that empty space is okay. So just because I don't have anything outlined, any specific goals outlined on my planner, in my planner, to fill this space between July and September, it's okay. It's okay. I also have some spiritual goals that I want to set up and, and process during that time. But what I plan to do is use my unplanned time to catch up on some catch-all things. Perhaps there are some reading that I want to catch up on. There may be some type of deep cleaning that I want to do during that time. Maybe something outside that I want to accomplish. Maybe somewhere I want to travel to. I don't know. But Whatever it is, I want to use that empty, unplanned time to do something that I feel is beneficial for my life at that time. Number eight, when it's time to stop, stop. That's a most, that's, that's for me, that for me, that's my most important reset lesson of the year. When it's time to stop, stop. There's been so many times that I've been working on a project and I say, ooh, it's lunchtime. I need to stop and go grab something to eat. And then I'll say, oh, well, let me just finish this one little corner right here. That time turns into dinner time. And I've lost my lunch time. I guilted myself out of time. So I'm learning when it's time to stop, when I mentally say, okay, I need to stop and focus on something else, or I need to stop and do this. I need to change motions. Stop. Go ahead and stop. Stop and do it. Don't guilt myself out of time and don't guilt yourself out of time. Now, sometimes people will see you have some free time and they'll try to get in there. <laughs> and take that time, steal that time away from you. I'll let you be the decision maker as to how you choose to handle that. But what I'm talking about is you guilting your own self out of your own time. You have control of your own time. So you decide when to say stop, when to say go. You decide that. Don't guilt yourself out of time. That brings us to quarter number four. Quarter number four includes your weeks 10 through 12 um, goals. Now, for me, this particular quarter includes a lot of spiritual goals, personal goals that I have. It includes that. It also, in it also includes some self-care goals that I have that I really want to accomplish um, during this time. And it includes seeing another natural wonder of the world. Like I said, my list has 15. Hopefully, by the time I get to um, quarter four, I will have um, already visited at least one or two of them. And then I'll um, have room enough for something else. I also want to be able to have lost another four to eight pounds during this time period as well. And again, these are for health reasons for myself, personal health reasons for myself. My reset lesson for this time period is number nine, to understand that generally things do get done in a day or in a week. It don't take months to do some things. It don't take years to do some things. Some things it does, some things it don't. In my life, because I'm a multitasker, generally it takes days to get things done or it takes weeks to get things done. I don't linger. I don't procrastinate. I get things done. And it's okay for that to happen in my life as long as I'm being balanced with it. Now, number 10 is something that I've actually included in every quarter for 2024, and that's a no-spend month. 
no spends have been added into my personal budget because I do, I am a spender. I do, I don't mind spending money. <laughs> I'm a spender. So I've added in no spend months for every quarter of this year. And I chose my months based on how I pay myself. I've included every quarter. I've included a no spend month in every quarter. And for this final quarter of 2024, I will do a recap on how well I did with my no spending. And hopefully um, that's something that I can continue in upcoming years to come. So that's what I've done for my quarters, uh, my 12 week year how I plan to reset, how I'm already starting to reset this first quarter. It's just January, but you begin to reset as you um, come up with your ideas and plans. Don't over-idea yourself. Don't over-idea yourself. I feel that preparing for a 12-week year or a reset or a recap, it takes work. We all have it in us, but we have to do it according to our own circumstances. Don't do it according to other people's circumstances. That don't work out well. But the one thing that I really, really want you guys to know is the number one rule to all of this. The number one rule to all of this, write this at the very top of your page, the tip top of your page, S-T-A-R-T, start. You have to start somewhere. That's the number one rule, okay? So thank you guys for joining me. I hope this was helpful to you in some type of way. Don't use my experience to be your experience. Create your own experience, okay? Until next time, you guys, enjoy yourself. It is 2024, and we are going to really try to enjoy ourselves this year, correct? Right, 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 right. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.